Hi, I'm Alfred Wong, Chief Operations Officer here at Cortico. In this quick video, I'll give you a sneak peek into our revamped browser plugin for Oscar-based EMRs. We have improved the user experience and added some new features that many of you were requesting. If you haven't installed a plugin yet, keep watching to see what the plugin can do for your practice. And I've saved the best feature for last, so make sure you stick to the end. To start off, let's install this plugin. The easiest way is to start from our website, www.cortico.health, then click on Features in our menu bar, then proceed to spend the next 30 minutes finding out all the cool things that Cortico does. If you're already familiar with Cortico, navigate to the bottom and click on the Oscar Enhancements Suite. On this page, you'll find some useful information here as well as click here to install. On this knowledge base page, simply follow the instructions for your particular browser. I'll also have the direct link in the description below. Note that this plugin only works for Chrome and Firefox browsers. Please also update your browser to the latest browser version to avoid any compatibility issues. If you're working on multiple computers, you will need to install it once on each computer. But don't worry, some of the automation features like canned responses are set per clinic, so you don't have to recreate those. If you have any trouble installing, here's our support team's email address help at cortico.health. The major change we made is to the user experience. The browser plugin no longer opens as a sidebar. Instead, it is now contained into this icon here on the bottom right. Clicking on it expands the widget and shows the features that you are accustomed to. You can minimize this widget back into an icon and move it around, which is particularly useful for those who have other third-party Oscar scripts. We have also organized it a little bit better to accommodate some of the upcoming features in our roadmap. Under automation, we have the bulk tool to validate MSP eligibility for appointments for the current day. Those patients with invalid MSP numbers will be marked and indicated with this tool. The preferred pharmacy tool makes finding and faxing prescriptions easier. With the cortical booking system, the patient can pre-select a pharmacy when making an appointment. This tool auto-sets the pharmacy fax number so doctors no longer need to manually do it. Under Settings, you will find the Appointment Type Reminder. This drop-down selection corresponds to the Resources field in the appointment. This enables staff to set the default resource field when manually adding a new appointment. The recall status has an editable field which corresponds to the appointment status. When you add and save into this field, it will automatically add a button to all matching appointment types. This button launches your default mail application with the patient's email attached and a message about their upcoming appointment repopulated into the body of the email. Another time-saving feature is this small icon here with three dots, and it shows up for every appointment. Clicking on this gives you a quick menu with links to the patient portal to access features like requesting forms or photos from the patient. Now, if the appointment happened to be a virtual one, it would also have a link to the telehealth room. The menu also shows the patient's contact information. A quick tip here, if you have a VOIP system installed on your computer, clicking on the phone number will immediately launch that application to call the patient. And as promised, I've saved the best feature for last. We have a full built-in patient messaging system that allows you to securely send email and documents to the patient and having those messages saved into the encounter notes. Here's how it works. In the encounter screen, an email patient widget shows up in the bottom right. Clicking on this widget opens up the messaging interface with the patient's email auto-populated. You can click on the plus icon here to auto-populate the body of the message with a canned response. If you want the message to be saved into the encounter notes, check this box here and press send. Send documents and navigate to the documents page. Identify the document that you want to send to the patient and click on the PT icon here. In the messaging interface, you will see the paperclip icon with the document name. This indicates the file is attached to the email message. When the patient receives the email, the file is not directly attached to the email. Instead, it is provided as an encrypted link that they open on their computer for extra privacy and security. 
If you need any assistance on setting up the plugin or have any feedback or suggestions, please reach out to our team at help at cortical.health. We have more exciting features in the roadmap that we can't wait to tell you about. Thanks for watching.